we are taught to do something known as istikhara. What is istikhara? Istikhara is seeking the guidance of Allah. So you want to open a business, you want to get married, you want to do something, you a major and you're confused about it. If you're not confused about it and you know totally, then there's no point in doing the istikhara. You can make a dua for blessings. You can ask Allah to grant you blessings. But if you're confused, you're not too sure, you don't know, then you ask Allah, Oh Allah, guide me. Oh Allah, if this is good for me. And the dua is in Arabic. The Sahaba radiallahu anhum say, we learned this supplication like we used to learn a verse of the Quran. That's what they say. So it's important to know it. What does it say? Oh Allah, I seek your guidance from your knowledge. And I seek your guidance from your power for you know and we don't know. And you are all powerful and we're not. You're able and we're not. And you are the knower of the unseen. We don't know the unseen. That's how the supplication goes. Then it says, Oh Allah, if you know that what I'm trying to achieve is better for me in my life, in my deen, my deen means my faith and my future and so on, including my hereafter, everything, obviously, then make it easy for me, facilitate it for me, open my doors and grant me blessings in it. And if you know that that thing is bad for me, what I would like to achieve or the particular thing I'm thinking about is bad for me, then keep it away from me keep me away from it turn it away from me turn me away from it make me happy with what you have decreed for me that's the prayer it's called an istikhara if you only you knew the meaning what did you say think about it what did you ask allah you didn't say oh allah if it's good for me show me a dream nobody's ever said that a lot of people believe that you know you might get a good sign or two yes no harm but you actually need to know. People say, how do I know the response of my istikhara? Go back and find out what you said. That's the response. You said, oh Allah, if it's good for me, make it easy and facilitate it. Open the doors. So you get up the following morning and mashallah, the doors are opening one after the other. That's a sign. Allah starting to open your doors. You get up the following morning and your doors are closing one after the other. That's a sign. Allah's closing the doors. That's what it is. That's istikhara. So people say, well, I did this istikhara. Yes, you did. And you know what? I had a positive response, but now all the doors are closed. What do they mean? I saw a dream. Things were green. I saw a posh, plush garden, beautiful horses. Did you say, oh Allah, if this is good for me, show me a green garden with beautiful horses. You said, oh Allah, open the doors. The doors are closed. Close your eyes again. Gardens will turn. They become brown, dry. You won't see horses anymore. You probably see donkeys. Allah grant us ease. So you need to know because people say I'm sad because I did an istikhara and this istikhara was so positive. Hang on. Did you understand how to look into an istikhara? If the doors were closing, it means it's negative. Let go. It's okay.